All right, everybody. We're going to do a little bit of, well, I, I would say this is like my first little sit down and talk with you guys. I call it soldier's chat. Y'all know I call it soldier's chat because I'm a soldier. And you don't have to be a soldier to join in on the on the uh, context of this um, sit down one on one with Miss K. And, I t you know, I talk about mainly I'm going to be talking about um, gaming, um, possibly us getting the PS5 Pro looks like. And that is exciting news. Looks like it's going to be um, I don't have Twitter anymore, so. And I don't miss it. Let's just say that I do not miss Twitter at all. But yeah, I'm just doing my little research online. And um, a lot of people are saying that. Um, or what it's saying on the actual PlayStation blog. Is that the PS5 Pro is a real thing. Um, it's, I'm looking at this concept video. It looks pretty good. Um. It's just a concept art. It's probably it says leaked, but PS5 Pro quick look leak. If it looks like this, it looks good. Um, let me show it to you guys. Let me see if it'll let me. Yeah, that's pretty much what it looks. Uh that's what the that's what the leak artwork or the leaked photo looks like. And it actually um looks pretty pretty doggone good. I ain't even gonna front. It looks good. I don't um yeah, it looks pretty sleek. If that's really what it looks like. Well it is in one of the um the photos, the thirtieth with the anniversary PlayStation five. I think the back of it uh I think a picture of the actual PS five pro is leaked um in that in that artwork, so it looks pretty much like this, so Hey, I ain't mad at PlayStation. Do your thing. Get that money. Do your thing. You know, so. Lord, I hit the wrong button. Only me. I need to slide this up, actually. And I don't want to do this. Hold on. Y'all hold on a second. Yeah, when I'm streaming or making a video, I'm going to have to slide some stuff up so I can get to it. I have to be leaning and stuff like that. But what y'all think about, you know, the PlayStation 5 Pro? Y'all leave it in the comments. I started to go live, but I'm just going to do this video recorded and upload it to my um my YouTube page. And y'all can leave comments below. They, I'm, I will still be at work whenever this video or when it, I think it's, it's not even that much of a... I don't even think the video is going to be that long with Mark Cerny. He's probably going to drop that. Drop the mic, so to speak, and uh, get on off of there. You know, you know what I'm saying. He gonna do what he gotta do and and be out. He gonna be out. But um, nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. As a gamer and everything, um, you can't you can't help but get excited about hardware as well as software. Um. I want to speak on some things, though, um, as far as this, um, the difference between a gamer and a um, fanboy, because there's a huge difference. Um, I, com I consider myself a gamer, and my definition of being a gamer is a person that is going to buy the games no matter where they go. Um we're human beings. We're going to have, uh, we're going to have preferences. There's nothing wrong with having a preference, but don't sell your soul to have a preference. Don't fanboy out is what I'm saying. I don't even joke around like that because it's like, you can't even, you can't even, um, people get be getting butt hurt, you know, and not that it matters about that, but it's enough BS going on in the, in the in the gaming community or just with games, period. So that's probably why I don't tend. I you know I'm I'm not saying I don't crack my jokes and stuff like that with within my within my group or with my peers. You know when I'm not you know blasting it all on social media. And I don't do all that. If I'm gonna joke around, I'm gonna do it in a controlled setting. You you feel me? And a lot of times that's all it is. It's just jokes. 
but I'm not going to get on here. What I'm not going to do is get on here and you know, be saying all kind of crazy stuff in my video and everything. And, um, you know, people, people will get offended, you know, um, by certain things. And I, I guess that's just life. You know, it is what it is. You got people that are just die hard, um, Xbox or die hard PlayStation, die hard Nintendo. Hey, it is what it is. But at the same time, I know some, you know, people that, that are around me that I know that lean towards maybe another console. Um, I've never had an issue, you know, with any of them, you know, like going out, just selling out, you know, so to speak, kind of just like, okay, uh, I want Xbox to die, you know, stuff like, oh, I want PlayStation to die. I want Nintendo to die. Because trust me, if I hear somebody saying some stupid stuff like that, don't come around me with that. Do not come around me with that. I ain't trying to hear it. Play your games. If you prefer a certain console, then that's what you do. You don't have to get on here, you know, on social media and um, make a butt out of yourself. You know, it's not necessary. Just play your games. Let the content speak for itself. Don't make the content about a uh, uh, so-called console war. You know, I get so sick of hearing that. I'm thinking myself, I'm a United States Army veteran. And war is the last thing I want to hear. You feel me? On on a real note. War is the last thing I want to hear. I don't hear about no war. Um, for somebody that's a combat veteran, and these are video games, they don't even go hand in hand. We play games for fun, and that's what it's all about. I don't care what side of the fence you're on. If you're on PlayStation side, if you're on Nintendo side, if you're on Xbox, choose whatever you want to play on and let that be that. Enjoy your games. Don't be online going at people's throats and stuff like that, saying all kind of slick stuff. It, it's not called for. All of that ain't called for. It's not. I'm tired of hearing it. I really am. Um, I don't, I just don't want to hear it. You know, um, being on a certain console or whatever shouldn't break up a friendship. If y'all are friends, then it shouldn't break no friendship up if you respect one another. But um, I just I just don't have time for the BS. I really don't. Am I excited about the PS5 Pro? Yeah, for those of you know, for those that um gamers that want that extra layer or want that um um higher entity uh console. Yeah, I'm excited for my fellow gamers that want that. I have no problems with it. You know, it is what it is. You know, um, and people talking all kind of trash about Astrobot, and I, my game is coming in Wednesday. I'm gonna play Astrobot. You feel me? Um, I'm just tired of all the rhetoric. This makes me want to shut down my social media sites. I'm just being real with you. It makes me want to shut down, um, my social media. I don't even. I just. You, you, I kind of want to ghost. I want to go ghost. You know how it was before we had internet? Miss K kind of wants to get back to that. I don't want to be bothered with the rhetoric. I don't want to be bothered with the BS. I don't want to be bothered with this person saying, oh, yo, I want Xbox to die. Xbox ain't got no games. This and I'm sick of hearing that crap. Shut up and play your games. That's all you have to do. It's not that hard. Play your games. It's so irritating. I want to go ghost. And I probably will. I'm just saying. It's annoying. It's very annoying. Um, which is why I don't have Twitter anymore. I'm 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 if I didn't have this this thing going on with um Five Fine, I probably would shut down my Instagram. Because I see stupid stuff on there too. When I start seeing stupid stuff on social media. On my fees, I don't want to be bothered. I want to go ghost. Um, as much as I like YouTube and like to interact, y'all know y'all. Anybody that follows me on YouTube, that is that is on my friends list or whatever, and we we really rock with each other like that. Y'all got my cell phone. Y'all have my cell phone number. So if I ever go ghost, which I'm thinking about doing, I'm just gonna play these games. Only thing I probably would do. Social media wise is stream. That's it. 
I met some cool people at the Mod Squad Network. I was still keeping contact with them. I was still watching their content. I was still converse back and forth with Clay, Kevin, and the Mod Squad Network. Yes, I'm still going to talk to you guys. But I'm telling you what, I get tired of the BS with this console this, this console that. Oh, PlayStation, Xbox ain't got no games. PlayStation ain't got no games. We all knew when PlayStation came out, they even said in their roadmap they weren't going to have any heavy hitters until 2025. What part of that don't y'all understand? Yeah, yeah, PlayStation, they're getting games here and there. But they're triple A or whatever. We wouldn't get, they, they already told us we weren't going to get a lot of those this year. Did I sell my PlayStation 5? No. Then people, you got people saying Xbox has no games. Well, it's mighty funny. I'm playing games on Xbox. Game Pass is a value to me. It's a value to me, and I'm primarily on PC. Everybody knows that. If you really want to play on the best thing, get you get you a PC. That's probably why I feel the way I feel because I can get it all. It doesn't make a difference, and I did not have to buy an Xbox Series X because I have two PCs. But I bought it. Hey, I'm trying to support the culture. You feel me? And I do play on my Xbox. I, and I ain't going to front now. My PlayStation, I got to have a reason to turn it on. I really do. I mean, I, hey, they say that we wouldn't get really any games until 2025. I still bought my PlayStation 5 anyway. It is what it is. And when the games start dropping on there, the ones that I want to play is when I turn my PlayStation 5 on. At least I got one. With the Pro coming out, if people want to get the Pro, go for it. Stop all this rhetoric about, you know, you want Xbox to die and you're always down. And I don't understand Americans that hate American companies. How can you hate an American company? Xbox, Microsoft, they're an American company. How are you hating? Okay, PlayStation is a Japanese company. I don't hate PlayStation. They make good games. And they are a Japanese company, but I still like their games. But everybody is, is seem like they they going gung ho about Xbox. They just so against Xbox. Xbox is the American company. How are you gonna hate America? <laughs> Has Xbox done a lot of stuff right? No. Has PlayStation done a lot a lot of stuff right? No. Neither one of them have. Nintendo does some shady stuff too, as far as not putting chat and stuff on the Switch. Come on now. They won't even put the chat feature on the on the Nintendo Switch. And we've been we've been I've been complaining about that for years. Maybe we'll get it on the Switch too. I don't know. Whatever they're gonna name the next console. Who knows? All name none of these companies perfect. These are big corporations. They don't listen to you on social media. At least they shouldn't. Some gamers they shouldn't even listen to. Because you got a lot of fake gamers out here too. They just run off at the mouth. Got the biggest mouths out here, but ain't playing no games. Go figure. But anyway, y'all, I had to, you know, come through. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to watch the event tomorrow and everything and try to catch as much as I can. Um, If it's the PlayStation Pro that, that they, 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 they um are going to announce tomorrow, hey, that's dope. That's dope to me. Um. I, I I game across it all. It makes no difference to me. Do I make my little jokes? Yeah, I make my little jokes about PlayStation. I did. I named my stream Dusted My PlayStation 5 off. I actually wasn't lying. I knew when I bought my PlayStation 5, I wasn't, there wasn't probably not going to be exclusive games to pay, play until 2025. They told us that in the beginning. They said it in the beginning. There will be games here and there, but they're triple bangers, you know, triple A. We wouldn't get a lot of them. They said that in the beginning. That was the roadmap. It is what it is. You can choose to buy the console or not. I chose to buy it anyway. So that way when the games come, I already got the console. What's the big deal? There's no big deal. Xbox Series X. Don't believe people when they say they ain't no, ain't no uh, Xbox has no games. Don't you believe that crap? Because Miss KB, I be on my Xbox slash PC all the time playing games. Don't you believe that crap? Believe the people that you know are out here playing the games and putting up the footage. Some games I play, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even stream. 
but I do play a, a plethora of games. I mainly play the games that I like. And then if I want to test something like Flintlock, I did test that out. I actually like Flintlock. I thought about getting a hard copy of that. I might have to get. I might have to just buy that game. Cause I did try it on Game Pass, and like I said, don't let people fool you about Game Pass. Game Pass gives you the opportunity to try a game, and if you're a real gamer and you like that game, you're gonna support it anyway. That's why I said I'm gonna I'm gonna buy Flintlock. So, anyway, Mr. Girl, Miss K. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the, um, are y'all going to look at the, um, stream event tomorrow? It's not going to be very long. Are y'all going to pick up the PS, PS5 Pro? Let me know. Leave it in the comments. Let me know. Leave it in the chat. Let me know. I might get one. Who knows? You never know with Miss K. You never know. If I want one, I'll get one. If it's going to run better than my regular PS5, what the heck? If I can, if I can secure one, I might. It's no definite thing. I might get one. Who knows? Anyway, y'all continue to be gamers. Stop being fanboys. Hashtag, I don't know fanboys around me. Nah, we ain't doing that. Me and my crew, we play everything. Does Do people have preferences? I respect their preferences. I do. But don't come at me with all this bull crap. Oh, Xbox needs to die. I don't want to hear that crap no more because I heard that on one of my feeds. I didn't like it. I didn't like it because you're not a real gamer if you're saying crap like that. You shouldn't want any of the big three to go anywhere. We want them to continue to make good games. This is what we do on our spare time. We play games. If you don't want to play games, go find another hobby. Go kick some rocks or something. Do something. Get out the gaming community. Leave leave the real gamers and the gamers that are here that really play these games. Leave us alone. Let us play our games. If it's something we got issues with, with – uh, PlayStation, Microsoft, Nintendo, let the real gamers speak. Let the real gamers speak and, and, and voice our opinions and our thoughts and our discrepancies. And everybody else that ain't playing no game, they, keep, they, they need to hush them lips. Bumping all them gums. It's annoying. But anyway, Mr. Girl, Miss K., Y'all let y'all let me. This is like a twenty minute video, but well, seventeen minutes, something like that. But anyway, I was gonna go live, but I decided not to. So y'all leave y'all comments in the comment section below. Real gamers, please. Hey, real gamers, stand up. Real gamers, stand up. Cause look like the um big mouths, the ones that got their mouths flapping. They're not the they're, they're not playing no games. They're not. So we as gamers, the real gamers, we have to spend, we have to stand up, speak our minds, speak our pieces, say what needs to be said and keep it pushing. You feel me? Anyway, it's your girl, Miss K. Salute.